Hello again and welcome back. This time I am here with the double ice axes, which are pretty amazing, pretty cool looking, uh, but I've explained my uh, aversion to axes. They're not the greatest weapon. That's okay. I'm going to have fun with them. And then I've got this ice shield right here. Uh, it's, it's just an ice shield. Um, again, shields aren't that great. Um, but it's here to use in case I need it, which I probably won't even touch it because these are ranged weapons and I can get away with blocking with them too. So that'll probably work out. I'm also going to check my exo perk real quick, which is critical. Um, you know what? I'm going to change that to uh, 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 the throw, increased throwing damage to 100% because uh, I'm going to be throwing these axes a lot. And... Yeah, we'll do that. All the regular perks that I, I usually have. Um, I'm going to give it a shot from here. Let's get into it. And yeah, this this ice shield, you can, you can throw like that. I did a, a video on throwing ice shields, ice frisbee. And you know what? I'm going to do the lava forge. Uh, let's see. This, oh man, that's a very convoluted small dungeon. Um, I wanted to do Lava Forge, but that's just not, not a good one. Am I going to do Ice again? Nah, nah, let's do, I'm going to do Sandstorm. Okay, yeah, that's, that's a decent one. This will probably be really easy, but we'll go ahead and do it. Tier 6, not super easy because it's Tier 6, but not very difficult because it is Sandstorm. Sandstorm doesn't have any imps or any exploding things. It does have ice though, um, and ice, or ice enemies. So ice enemies are probably gonna be the, the toughest thing I have to deal with, but it's, it's not really tough to deal with as long as I can get away with, uh... oh no, darn, this ladder can be a pain in the butt to climb sometimes. Okay, here we go. Jump, nice. And one little cheeky thing you can do when you're climbing ladders is just grab it and teleport, and then you're up. <laughs> so if you ever don't want to actually climb the ladder, that's a way to do it. And let's see what we get. Ooh. Yeah, sometimes it's, it's difficult to open those barrels uh, by... That's a poison barrel. Um, nice. But yeah, the, the axes are sometimes just difficult to open barrels with. Crazy that I missed that guy. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to see see how easy... Oh, and there's always a key right there. Uh, I, I don't know which way. I should have looked at the map a little more in-depth before I went into this. But I think I'm going left first, going over here. Okay, yeah, great. So I got a chest. I already have three keys. Dang, how did I pick up three keys already <laughs> wasn't even paying attention myself but okay we got this pressure pad nothing else over here It'd be cool if that little room had something more than a pressure pad but okay we opened it oh and there's another room Let's see what I get from here first a bomb place my, ooh, my axe is right there got a rare axe not as cool as these these axes but I think the model is a little better oh Oh, okay, so this is a this is a key room. It's got a key inside of it. So even though I used the key, got a key back, and I got the map, which is all I was looking for by going in that room. So we're good. I, I don't have to memorize the map. I can just look at it now. Fantastic. Always love doing that. Okay. Back here. Where are we going? So I'm gonna I'm gonna try when I freeze something. Also, it's, it's weird when I smack these. Um, yeah, very, very satisfying. That's, that's the good thing about, uh, daggers and axes is that you can have the enemy's heads just like stick on you. Oh my gosh. What am I doing? I'm glitching all over the place. Um, kill this. Oh, spider. Got him. And yeah, I, I didn't open that chest yet. I think there's a zombie crawling around down here being slow. No. This is like an empty room. Where is everyone? What? Oh, yeah, yeah, it is a zombie. Let's see if I can hit that. Oh, okay. Well, he died. <laughs> Let's see if this guy 
one shots, probably because I have the plus 100 damage on these. Okay, kill that guy. We got a zombie over here. Nice. See if I can grab this. Oh, you can. You can kind of yank it off. It's a little tough to do um, <laughs> when your when your axe gets stuck on the enemy. You gotta gotta yank it off. And you can use the the force grab, basically like when it's far away, force grabbing it back. You can do that when it's the axe is on an enemy, but it doesn't come back nearly as quickly. Like I think it takes one force grab to make it fall to the ground, and then you got to do another force force grab to actually pull it to you. So. I don't know, you can either run up to them or uh, run up to them and pull it off directly from the enemies or uh, go up to them. Sorry, force grab to them. But yeah, okay, got a key there. Collected that stuff. Let's look at the map while it opens. So I'm just going to go straight. Oh, I'm going to go backwards first. Got a rare bow. Can't complain with a rare bow. <laughs> Eight fall damage and it went right back up. The, the vitality ticked right when I fell. Bam. Oh yeah, it's good stuff. I also do have the explosion. Oh, I forgot, that's what I forgot. I forgot to check the perks that I had. Uh-oh, whew, uh-oh, no. He is gonna, I am doing weird stuff. <laughs> okay, kill that guy. I gotta kill all these ice guys. And man, the axes are just so clunky. That's what I really don't like about, for one, if you have a big weapon, it's it's more clunky. And then for two, axes stick to enemies. So that makes it even more clunky. <laughs> That's okay. All right, get some guys. Oh, that was not meant. To go at the skeleton I meant to go at the zombie oh man see and then my weapon blocks <laughs> it blocks my ne next hit because it's stuck to him Ugh, such a pain Ugh, there we go nice sometimes you can get two hits with one basically by swiping through them you can i can get the stun or or the freeze and then get the the kill after they're frozen because you don't really need to put much power into that kind of just push okay so many keys man there was a key in the coffin a key up there i think i'm good oh all this gold nice i'll take it i'll take it all right now this way to the end of the dungeon two small rooms hopefully they're fun small rooms yeah i like these you don't have to look around too much. Oop, we got a moonwalk, moonwalking skeleton. Kill that dude. Oh, got him. Weird. <laughs> I threw, threw my axe at that uh, scorpion, but for some reason he just didn't die. Also, I definitely want to open this. And there's a little torch, which no big deal if I didn't grab it, but we're going to do it. Key, bam. Open that up for me. Oh, I threw my torch. Why'd I throw my torch? Just a hundred gold? Ah! Yeah, usually you can get a weapon module, or at least I would get a weapon module because I'm full on, ooh, glitching out. I'm full on um, cosmetics. So tier one, I haven't mentioned that in a while, but if you're like a low level or you just haven't unlocked all the cosmetics yet, um, tier one chests will uh, give you nice tier one chests will give cosmetics however once you get all of the cosmetics then you'll start getting weapons that time though with that last tier one chest i got nothing um just got unlucky let's go ahead and start this up get some axe kills okay i don't know what i was doing i was, I was just like Appreciating the beauty of collision <laughs> or something. Nice. Bam. Beautiful. Okay. Knock him off. <laughs> Sucker. Man, I'm just like 
I'm dying for some some harder difficulty, especially when I, <laughs> I come in sandstorm. It's it's painfully easy. I don't know if I've gotten hit once yet. I probably have and just used vitality and I was totally fine. But oh well. Quick. Uh, nice. I get to punch him now. <laughs> just came back weird. Kill the ice guy. Okay, he's moonwalking backwards. What's up with that? Didn't know it's possible. Yeah, <laughs> froze him and pulled it through his body. Okay, ice guy. Nice. This is gonna be a little bit tough, but since I have the throwing, um, throwing power on these axes, it will make it easier. Also, I don't know what happened to that axe. Did I like did I holster it as I was throwing it? That was very strange. But yeah, that was that. Pretty uh, <laughs> pretty interesting run. Maybe the opposite of that. Not too interesting, but hey, got through it. Um, hmm. Yeah, I gotta I gotta start doing some some multiplayers. Uh, get some other people in in these recordings because Dungeons of Eternity is definitely more fun with people that's like that's one of the main selling points of this game is co-op dungeons of eternity so yeah maybe next time or some of the one of these future videos it is harder to make videos when i got it with somebody else because i have to schedule around their time too and make sure they're they're down for recording so we'll see if i can get some other some multiplayer videos if if anybody is watching and wants to do some co-op runs with me then we can we can try to get that to work, uh, but I do, do have to schedule it because I'm not on 24 seven. Um, so yeah, hopefully we get that. Uh, it was it was cool to use these um, these axes, the double sided axes uh, with the explosion on one of them. I think it was this one, and then just ice on both. They're very neat weapons, but we uh, we had the shield that we didn't use. So yeah. Fun video, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you deem me worthy, and peace out.